Welcome back everyone. I'm super excited to get started with you today. Today we are unboxing from my collection all of my King Kong and Godzilla figurines. Let's get started with this Mecha Godzilla figure right here. This one's ginormous. With the tail, it might be two feet long in total. This is really cool. It's got the opening and closing claws in the front. Movable arms, movable legs, the tail swivels. And the face is just awesome too, look at that. Look at those eyes, that's so cool. Next up, we got this ginormous King Kong figure right here. The arms go up and down, even the wrists are adjustable. His jaw opens and closes just a little bit. But one of the coolest features is it's got this swiveling action that you can set him up like this. And if you want him to punch, other figurines. Wham, 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 wham. So this one is about a foot tall as well. So this is one of my largest King Kong and Godzilla figurines as well. All right, moving on to the ginormous Godzilla right over here. This is the biggest Godzilla figurine that I have in my collection. And look at it. Standing up, I'd say it's probably around a foot high, but look how big its body is and then its tail. It might even go maybe two or three feet as well. I really like using this Godzilla figurine in our battles because it's so big and so scary looking. <coughs> All right, moving on. We've got another King Kong figure right here. A little bit smaller than the last one, but check it out. You can see it's got some battle damage. It doesn't require any batteries or anything like that. So it doesn't make any noise, but this one's still pretty large as well. Look how big that is. All right, let's take a look at this blue Godzilla right here. It looks a little bit uh, like a old school classic Godzilla, but look at this blue finish that it has all over. And the gold tipped claws right there too. Look at that face, got the red eyes. You can see the tongue and the teeth right there. And of course, the spikes on its back. And these ones for this figure are blue, like the rest of its body. This one is one of my favorite Godzilla figurines right here. Check out the coloring on this and like the flexibility with its tail. This one is super dynamic with how you can move it and even with its face, check it out. But the reason that I like this one is because it's fire. Look at that. It's ferocious. It's got like the spikes, but they're like flaming spikes. So this one is really cool. One of my favorites. Next up is this figurine from the Godzilla series. And this is the Anguirus figurine from the Godzilla Final Wars collection. Look at all these spikes on its back. And interestingly, they're all kind of like facing forward. Do you see that? We've got the long tail here with the spikes at the end. And check out that face. That is a mean looking face. And it's got those horns on the top of its head also facing forward as well. That's very interesting. And here we've got a smaller King Kong figure. And this one does have sound effects in it. See this button in the back right here? Let's go ahead and press that and see what happens. It's making that snarling face. And it's got movable arms, movable legs, and all that. Which one should we pull out next? Let's try this Godzilla right here. Another large Godzilla action figure. This time, it's got the purple spikes on its back, the three ridges, the three lines going down its back, movable legs, movable arms, and even the tail swivels as well. This is a pretty lightweight figurine though. You can tell that it's hollow on the inside, and you can actually see that it's kind of squished. I'm not sure why that is, but it is hollow. We've got another large Godzilla figurine right here. Very similar to the last purple one, but instead this figurine is blue. So it's got the blue spikes on its back, the three lines of spikes, 
The tail moves just like the other one, the legs and the arms. And look at that face. It's got those red eyes too. Oh my goodness, we have so many Godzilla figurines in here. Look at this other one. This is another one of those super adjustable figures. Look at how its tail moves. And its arms has a lot of points of articulation and its legs. Check out that face right there. Now look at the painting on those spikes and even on the rest of its body. You can tell it's super textured. It looks very realistic, which I really like. Now look what we have here. Another Godzilla figurine. Oh, a Mecha Godzilla. But it's like a miniature version. It's like a model. So it's got that huge head and the little body and tail. And none of the parts move on this one, so this is more of a collectible. But still looks very cool. I think I'll end up putting this one on my shelf. All right, I see a gold one down here. I think this is another one of the big Godzilla figurines. Yeah, so this one's around the same size as the blue and purple one. But instead, as you can see, it is gold all over the body and on the spikes and the tail. Everywhere has that gold coloring on it. And it's like, see with the texture, it's like mixing with the black, which is really cool. What's this one over here? Let's see. Oh, look at this. This is a King Kong figure. It's got the longer arms than what the other figures had. And its face is even meaner than the other figures we've seen so far. Look at that. Let's dig in here and pull out another Godzilla. This is another one of those Godzilla figurines that's like super detailed. Look at that blue and there's like a little bit of white as the highlight. And I just love these figures. You can even move its neck around so you can turn its head, you can move its arms, you can swivel them. All right, here it is. So I believe that this is the atomic breath attachment for this dinosaur. So what you can do is actually open its mouth and then fit it right in its mouth and it'll stay there. So if you're doing like a stop motion video or taking pictures with them, it'll look like he's shooting the atomic breath out from them. Very neat. Next up, we've got this Godzilla figurine with a super long tail. And this one is from the 2016 Shin Godzilla movie. So let's see, we've got, it's like glowing red chest and that same glowing red along its back with the spikes. It's got a mean looking face. And then the glowing red at the end of the tail as well. Look how long that tail is. That's like longer than the body of Godzilla. All right, let's see what else we've got. Oh, look at this one. So this is a Godzilla, but this is the third form Godzilla. So you can see We've got its legs starting to stick out there. And it's still got the spiked back, the three rows, and it's got a fully functional mouth and eyes, but the arms have not quite come through yet. And again, even with this one too, look at the length of that tail. That's probably longer than the length of the body. Very cool. And here we've got a smaller King Kong figure. And you can see on the chest, just like some of the other ones, it's got the battle damage, the three stripes from getting slashed by Godzilla or a dinosaur, and it swivels on its waist and its arms. And uh, there's no batteries for this one either. So there's no sounds or lights or anything on this one, but it's still a cooler King Kong figure to have. It's about, I don't know, maybe six inches tall. All right, let's keep digging. Ooh, you know what? I see another Mechagodzilla figurine right here. It's about six inches tall and it's got a lot going on. I believe these are rockets on its shoulders and there's just like so much gear it looks like all over its body. And this does have a metallic shine on it as well, even though it's made of plastic. Uh, it looks fairly close to metal. And I believe 
this version of Mechagodzilla is from the 2002 movie called Godzilla vs. Mechagodzilla. But uh, let me know in the comments below if you've seen this one in another movie too. Let's keep digging. Let's see what we find here. Oh, here is a very large King Kong figure. You can see some battle damage on its chest. It's got this chain wrapped around its hand. It doesn't move, but it's there all the time. You can move the arm up and down. And this one doesn't require batteries either. So there's no sound effects or lights, but it swivels, its arms moves up and down. And this one stands at about maybe a foot tall as well. So it's very comparable to some of the other King Kong figures that we have. And here is another King Kong figure, a bit smaller. Look at that. It's got this like white snow finish all over it. So I think this is the Arctic Kong figurine. You can tell that he's been working and fighting in the snow. This figure is a bit smaller than some of our other King Kong figures, but I must admit, I do like this one a bit more because it is so adjustable with its arms and legs. You can do almost any pose with this figure, which I think is super cool. All right, we've still got a lot more in here. Let's keep going. Ooh, check out this Gigan figurine from the Godzilla series. And this one is pretty colorful. You've probably noticed that with a lot of our Godzilla figurines, a lot of them are like darker colors. So I definitely appreciate that this figure from the Godzilla series has this bright red on the back. So this one really pops. Let's look at its face. It's got this massive horn on the top and then even right next to its mouth on the sides, you can see it's got those horns there. So this one I'm sure would be very lethal to battle against. Look at those. And now we've got a smaller Godzilla figurine, very similar to the other ones we've had, but it's got the black body and then the very shiny blue spikes on its back. This one's jaw doesn't open and close, but the arms and legs are movable too. So this one's still pretty usable and versatile. And look here, we've got another similar Godzilla figurine, but look at the spikes on the back. In this one, they're like kind of uh, see-through. You can see my finger on the other side, but there's still like a cool blue hue to them. And on this one, the jaw does open and shut as well. Look at that. See that? Look at that, attention to detail right there. And the tail swivels too. Let's keep going. Next one is this Godzilla figurine here, which I believe is the second form Godzilla. So check it out. You can see its arms are starting to form on its side right there, but it's already got the spikes on the top. It's got the red in the front and its mouth and head is pretty close to fully formed as well. So this is a pretty cool one to uh, have in my collection. Let's see. Ooh, we've got another smaller King Kong figure right here. But unlike the other one that had the snow on the top, this one's got, I think that's the atomic breath coloring on its arms and a little bit on its side too. You can see a little bit of blue. Ooh, and a little bit of blue on its chin too. So just like the other smaller Kong figure that we saw, the arms and legs are very adjustable, which I really like. All right, here we've got another Godzilla figurine and check out the fiery coloring on its chest, on its legs, and look at that on its spikes on its back. I like how it fades into the fiery orange color. Look at that mean look on his face. His head swivels back and forth. The arms are moving, the tail spins. And this is a, you know, a medium sized figure I'd say. But I do love that fire coloring on its body. And here we've got a smaller Godzilla figurine. And once again, we've got the black body, but a different colored spikes. We've had blue, we've seen some, I think we had some red ones and some orange ones. This one is purple, check that out. And these spikes are huge too. That's probably like two or three inches on its back. 
And as usual, the tail moves, the legs move, the arms move, but on this one, the head doesn't move. So it's looking just straight forward. And look at those eyes on it too. See that little blue dot in its eyes. I see right here is another smaller King Kong figurine. And once again, check out the movability on its arms and its legs. And like the other ones, I forgot to mention earlier, but these do have this battle damage right on its shoulder. So when you take it off, you can see the red underneath as if he's wounded. So you can take that on and off while you're playing with a toy. And for this one, we've got the battle axe ready in hand for a fight. Check out that battle axe. <laughs> Let's see what else we've got. Oh, look at here. This is the Mothra larva from the Tokyo SOS movie. And look at that. You can even twist its neck side to side like that. And I believe we actually have the Mothra adult figure right here as well from the same movie. Look at the coloring on its wings too. And it's got that little itty bitty face and arms. But yeah, these wings are ginormous. Very neat. All right, we're just about done with this bin. I can see this other Godzilla figurine. Look at this. It's got the orange coloring in the front and it's got the orange on the spikes as well. The head swivels, the legs move, the arms move. And this is another like, I'd say medium sized Godzilla figurine right here. That is awesome. All right, look at this one. This is the Rodan figurine from the Godzilla series. And look at the wingspan on this. And it's got the yellow body. And you can tell that that's like armor plating on it right there. So this one's pretty protected. It's got the beak. And I think those are our horns on it as well. Tell me in the comments below, do you remember in what movie Rodan fought Godzilla? Comment below and let me know. All right, we're just about done. We've got a lot of little figurines in here. Let's go through them really quickly. So we've got a bunch of small Godzillas right here. You can see this one's blue with black. See this one's like mostly black. Check out this one here. It's got the blue spikes. Oh, and look at this one. We saw this version of Godzilla a little bit earlier. Do you remember that orange coloring? We've got this other smaller Godzilla. Check this one out. This is a miniature Mecha Godzilla, and look at those rockets on its shoulders too. That is intimidating. That is it for today's video. Thanks so much for joining. Mm -hmm. Subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. to this video everyone today we are unboxing this gigantic bin full of godzilla king kong and even some jurassic world dinosaur figures i'm super excited let's dive in and let's start unboxing these all right so first up we've got this godzilla 1995 let's check them out look at those that orange and yellow looks like there's fire coming out of them this is a classic godzilla figure right here and you can even collect the other figures from this same toy maker. Let's take it out. All right, I think the tail's on there all the way. Let's check them out. So not bad. Check out his back. Look at all those spikes, his tail moves. He's got moving arms here. Even his head swivels too. His mouth doesn't open and shut. 
Check out those eyes, though. Those are some angry eyes. Very cool. Not bad, you know? Very cool. All right, let's check out the next door. So here we've got the Arctic or Antarctic Kong from the Godzilla vs. Kong movie. Let's check it out. And look, it even comes with a miniature helicopter as well. And he's got battle damage reveal. And there's tons more in the same series too. Cool. Let's check them out. Let's get a closer look. All right. So here we go. It's the Antarctic Kong. You can see all over him, he's got this snow from the outdoors because he's out in the snow where it's super cold. All his arms and legs, they swivel and move. He's actually pretty adjustable. His head adjusts back and forth. Let's check out this battle damage too. All right, so here's the battle damage piece. So you just put it on his arm to hide the battle damage. So now he looks normal, he looks healthy and unhurt. And then he goes into the battle, he's fighting Godzilla or whoever else really. And then if he gets bitten on the arm, you can take that off and show a wound in his arm. That's pretty cool. And let's check out the helicopter too. Ooh, this is a tiny helicopter. Well, the rotors don't spin, but it's still pretty cool to have. Very nice, I like the snow. That's a lot different from the other ones. He looks like he's been out in the cold for a long time. All right, who next? Let's do this one. This looks like a gigantic figure. Let's see what it is here. Check it out. Check out this Godzilla here. This is another kind of classic looking one. You can see from the face. This isn't from the most recent movies, but it's still a pretty cool Godzilla. Let's attach the tail. Oh, okay. That one was a lot easier. Cool, so a lot of the same movements as the smaller Godzilla that we were already that we already unboxed. Check it out. He's got gold nails and he's got the blue all over his body. Very cool. And he's like hollow too. So I bet he could float in your pool or something like that. Let's get a close up on those claws and on that face too. He's looking pretty angry too. All right, I see another King Kong toy back here. So this is another Godzilla versus Kong action figure. It is the Battle Roar Kong from Monsterverse. So monster battle sounds. Push here to activate Battle Roar. All right, let's check it out. Let's go ahead and take him out of the packaging. So he's got this button on his back right here that you press and he'll make a battle roar sound. Let's check it out, here we go. Pretty cool. And you notice when I press the button, his mouth actually opens and shuts too. That's pretty cool and he's got moving arms here. He's like kind of beating his chest right here. His legs and his feet move as well. And his face is like a, it's like a rubber kind of. See, when he roars, he makes that snarling face too. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Very nice, pretty good detail, I will say, for a toy this size. And it is pretty cool that the mouth opens and closes when you press the button too. Very fun. All right, let's open up one of these mystery bags like here. Let's see 
what figure is inside this one. Oh, check it out. Wow, this one is huge. Man, I can't even get him out of the bag, he's so big. Wow, this guy's ginormous. I mean, look at this. He fits in both of my hands. Look at this Kong figure. Check it out. So he's got a chain wrapped around his wrist that I'm sure he uses for attacking and defending himself. See around his body, very cool. And look, you can even see some battle damage on his chest there. And his torso rotates, his arms move. This is pretty neat. And this is another one that's like, uh, you can tell it's like uh, rubber and it's hollow. So it probably will float in your bathtub or in your pool too. This is pretty cool. He looks like he's ready to fight. Aww. All right, let's open up a Jurassic World figure next. Check this out. This one, wow, look at that name. That's a Chialingosaurus. Is that how you say that? I'm not even sure. That is quite the name. I actually haven't heard of this one before, but check it out. It's got a spike strike action. This is very cool. Let's go ahead and take it out of the packaging and let's check it out. All right. Wow, look at this. Look at this on his shoulders, on his front arms. He's got spikes. It's probably for defending himself. I wonder how he uses that to defend himself. And check out his spikes on the back of his tail. Those are massive. And you can see the toy has this swivel action. So you can really get those swings in when he's defending himself against whatever other dinosaur. Maybe he's fighting a T-Rex, maybe a Velociraptor, who knows? But look at all these spikes. They're made of rubber, so they do bend when you touch them. I guess that's a good thing so you don't hurt yourself when you're playing with it, but wow. And then he's got a yellow chest here and yellow front arms. I'm really digging these spikes on his front arms, right on the shoulders. That looks pretty fierce. Very cool. And yeah, check out this tail swivel action again. That's pretty fast. Very cool. I'm liking this dinosaur. You know, he doesn't necessarily look like the most ferocious one, but I definitely wouldn't mess with him out in the wild. That's for sure. All right, let's dive in here. Let's see what we're gonna pull out next. All right, another big one. Ooh, this one looks a little purple. Let's get it out of the packaging. Oh, check out this Godzilla action figure. That is a ginormous tail right there. It's swiveling, very cool. It's like a little squished, actually. Ooh, look at those red eyes. Those are some menacing red eyes right there. Very cool. I like the color differences between all the Godzillas that we've gotten so far. That's pretty cool. It's all sorts of colors. And his arms swivel up and down, his tail moves, his legs move, so you can have him run around and chase after other dinosaurs and everything. This is pretty cool. Very neat. I'm liking this one. All right, should we open this bag next or this one? Let's open up this one. Let's check out this Jurassic World dinosaur. So we've got the Spinosaurus here. All right, let's go ahead and open it up. Take it out. It looks like you have to attach the tail here. So let's go ahead and do that. Right, it just clicked in, cool. So now it is set to go. So this is the Spinosaurus. Wow, first off, look at those teeth in the front. Those are some huge teeth. And this toy, the mouth doesn't open, but still. Check out, there it is right there. The Spinosaurus and his, I think it's a ridged back. That's amazing, and look at the coloring. It goes from green to silver to red, and he's got the red coloring around his eyes as well. But most of his body is a green color, just like the forest. So he probably blends in 
and his prey doesn't notice that he's sneaking up on them until it's too late. And then he'll eat them. He's got moving arms here, moving legs. It's a pretty cool toy. We've got some bigger Spinosaurus toys out on our shelf, but this is a smaller one and it's still pretty neat. All right, I think it's time to go for the mystery bag. Let's check out the mystery bag. Let's see what's inside. Oh, interesting, okay. So it's a purple Godzilla. It's like that other purple Godzilla we had, but actually I'm kind of liking the design of this one a little bit better. I really like how bright this purple is and how it's just along the spikes on his back. And look at the detail of his skin too. Look at all that. It's super rough and scaly or something. It's like, well, he's a lizard, so. But his skin is super rough. And look at the, look at his face. They painted in all of his teeth and his eyes too. It's looking pretty ferocious. And the spikes on his back, I think, could be larger than the other ones too. This is a pretty cool one. I think this one's my most favorite purple Godzilla that we've gotten so far. This is pretty cool. All right, let's open up another one. Let's see what we got here in this bag. A Godzilla. Ooh, this one looks like a more classic Godzilla. Look at that. He's got huge legs. Look at his torso. This one is ginormous. I wonder how much he weighs if it was in real life. And look at the spikes on his back. This time, and this toy, they're orange. There's three rows of them. And his head is a little bit smaller than the Godzilla we just were looking at too. But look at this one. They, got, they painted in the tongue, they got the teeth, they got the eyes. And there's even a little glimmer in the eyes. You can see that yellow. It looks pretty vicious, I will say. But yeah, look at the, the size of this one. This one's like a bodybuilder or something. He's got those claws on his hands. Very cool. This one's pretty neat. All right, let's check out this other Jurassic World toy here. We've got the Triceratops, a classic one. This one's got the battle damage. You can see here this little thing that opens and closes on its side to reveal the battle damage after he's been in a fight. Very cool, let's get him out of the packaging here. All right, let's have a look. So his legs can move, can have him run back and forth. Oh, and his, his head moves too. You can have it swivel side to side and a little bit up and down too. And then biggest of all, or coolest of all, is this battle damage reveal. You can have it just go back and forth whenever you want. But yeah, check out this Triceratops here. You've got the huge protective part of their head right there that they can use probably to defend themselves, I imagine, because this is what is protecting their back and everything. And then you've got these huge horns on the front of them. On this toy, it's rubber, which is pretty nice, so you don't hurt yourself. But I can imagine in real life, horns like this on a Triceratops would do quite a bit of damage to whoever was attacking. This one's awesome, cool. All right, let's move on. Let's open up this one. It's looking gold, do you see that? It's super shimmery and reflecting, very cool. Oh wow, check this one out. This looks like a Godzilla made out of gold or something. Wow, this one's really cool. Look at this tail too. Again, this is ginormous. Look at these huge spikes on its back. Wow. Look at that. It's so reflective and shiny. It's like a golden statue of a Godzilla. And its legs move, its arms move, its tail swivels back and forth. Let's get a close up on his face here. Yeah, look at all that gold painting. That's pretty cool. I like that it's not all gold. It still has black in it. So it gives it a lot of texture and makes him look really tough and fierce. Very cool. 
All right, let's check out this one here. It's looking like a Kong. Is it a King Kong? It is. Oh, this one looks quite a bit different. Let's check him out. Wow, look at the length of his arms in this one. He's got super long arms. And his head moves as well. You can see he's got fur all over his body. And again, you can see some battle damage on his chest right there. But look at that face. He's like right in the middle of a fight. He's ready to eat something or someone. He's super angry. It looks like maybe his hands could hold stuff. You could probably put uh, a tree in his hand or something like that, and he might be able to hold it pretty well. That's pretty neat. But wow, yeah. This one's arms are super long. Very cool. I like it. And we've got another, is this a Godzilla? I think this is a, yep, it's a Godzilla. Check it out. It's pretty similar to some of the other ones we've got. See, it looks a lot like the gold Godzilla that we just opened up a minute ago. But instead, it's got the blue back and a black body. And again, look at those eyes. This one's eyes are red. And even its teeth, eh, it's kind of teeth, are painted white. Yeah, this one's ginormous too. This one's probably stands uh, maybe like a little less than a foot tall. So this one's pretty big. Very cool. I'm excited to add this one to my collection. All right, let's move on here. I'll check this out. Wow, look at this one. This looks like a super heavy armored Mecha Godzilla. Wow, look at all the silver on this. And check it out, he's got some rockets on his shoulders right there, on both sides. And he's got the spikes on his back too. They're a little bit more hidden because he's got so much else going on. Ooh, look at the tail too. I like this design of the tail. All these little bumps on it. That looks very robotic. And his legs right here, his head is moving back and forth. His eyes are a pure yellow. He's looking around looking for his next target. Very cool. And look at that. I think he's got blasters on his arms too right there. Wow, that is a lot. He is heavily armored and ready to go. Awesome. All right, let's check out this figurine here. Wow. This one is ready to attack. I mean, check this out. It's got spikes on its knees. Look at its feet. Those are spiked. Look at these huge, they're like sword claw things on its arms. I believe this is a, a Gigan that fights Godzilla. Look at his face too. If you know what this is, let me know in the comments. Look at that mouth. He's got these pinchers on the side. He's got a spike on his head. Even the back of him looks super fierce too. Look at his tail. It's got all these spikes on it. This is a war machine right here. This one is ready to fight all the time. Very cool. All right. Next up, ooh, another King Kong action figure. I really love how maneuverable these are. You can move them in all sorts of different positions and everything and this one too also has the battle damage check it out so now he's wounded his arm is wounded and he's like oh i can't use this arm anymore oh but then you can put it back on for when he's all healed up or maybe a this is very cool and look at that look at that purple and blue coloring on him, on his shoulders and his arms. And you've got a little bit on his chin right there. This is very cool coloring. I like this one. Now look at here. Bottom we've got, well, it's not exactly a King Kong, but it is, I believe it's a gorilla. And not only that, but it's a stretch gorilla. That's super weird. Check it out. Look how far it can stretch. Yeah, this doesn't look like King Kong. 
but it's still cool nonetheless. You can stretch him super far. Look at that. And then he just snaps back into his normal spot. This is pretty cool. You could be playing with this all day. And over here, I see we've got the Radon figurine from Godzilla. Look at the wingspan here. This is probably uh, maybe about a foot in width. So he's got some pretty big wings. Check out his feet. They swivel back and forth. He's got the yellow claws. He's got the armored protection plating on him. And then the, look at that beak as well. That is a ginormous beak. He's ready to soar off and fly and attack as well. Cool. And this one right here, let's check out. Oh, this is a different looking one. Look at this. Look at his face. That's totally different from the other Godzilla figurines. Look at his chest here. Look at that, it looks like it's glowing. That's so cool. It looks like something's glowing from out of his chest. He's got these little arms. He's got the spiked back again with the red glowing from in between the spikes. And he's got a super long tail. Look at that. That's like longer than he is tall. That is super long. Very cool. And his feet move as well. And look at that. He's got those little beady eyes. It's looking pretty ferocious, but I'm a big fan of that glowing red chest. That looks pretty awesome. All right, we've got a few more in here. Let's check them out. So this one, I think, is the Godzilla in the third form. But let me know if it's a different one. I could be wrong about that. But look, you see it's got the spikes on its back, the three ridges. You can see it doesn't really have arms yet. You can see his arms are poking out right there. But he's got some ginormous legs already. You can see along his neck. He's got a super long neck here. And then his face is looking wild. You can see that they painted in each tooth, which is a nice detail I appreciate. And he's got those huge eyes. And he's all red. He's got some bright red along his side and then a more soft red along the rest of his body. All right, got another Godzilla figurine here with the blue back. Very cool. This one's like an actual metallic shininess to it. It really pops out, that's pretty cool. Look at his face. This one's got the blue eyes. His mouth doesn't move, but his arms, his legs, and his tail move as well. This is pretty cool. It, it is a smaller Godzilla than some of the other ones. Like the gold Godzilla that we saw was probably about like this big, so it was a lot taller. All right, we got just a few more left. Here is another Godzilla, and I believe this one is the second form. So this one has got, it's like a, a tannish color. You see it's still got those red along its neck and its red mouth. It's got those big eyes again. And the spikes on its back, instead of it being red like the other one, this one's like a darker brown. So yeah, I think this one's the second form, but... And look, his arms are even, I think, a little less visible than the other ones. You can see they're just starting to develop right there. Very cool. And here is the last Godzilla of the bin. So it's a little one. We've got a little Godzilla here. But this one is also a blue backed one. It's got those three lines of spikes. And look at his face. I do like the texture on this one. Check it out. It is pretty textured, so you can see how rough his skin is. And look at the, that face right there. It's little tiny eyes. They are painted blue. He's got these claws that are painted blue as well. And his feet are blue. Pretty neat. And last but not least, got another King Kong figurine right there. This one's looking angry. This one has quite a bit of detail though. Check out that face. You can see those eyes. You can see each tooth. You can see his tongue 
and uh, the area around his tongue. That's pretty detailed. I do like that. And once again, you've got some battle damage along his chest right there. His torso swivels back and forth. His arms move up and down. This one is about the same size figurine as the other ones we saw. So, you know, it's probably like maybe six inches high, but still a very cool figurine. Hello and welcome back to the Amazing Dinosaurs channel. I'm super excited to be here with you today. Today we are unboxing this giant bin of dinosaur toys. We've got some new Camp Cretaceous, we've got some new Jurassic World, we've got some King Kong and Godzilla further down in the bin, and so much more. I'm super excited to unbox these with you. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so first up, let's go ahead and unbox this Camp Cretaceous figure right here. We got a Scorpios Rex from the Camp Cretaceous. Let's check it out. Wow, so this is a pretty sizable figure, I will say. This is larger than a lot of the ones that we have. All right, so there's two buttons on the top up here. Oh, that's the first one. Check it out, this top button. When you press it, watch what happens, let's see. Nice, so his mouth opens up, reveals his teeth, and the sound effect of his roar. Very cool, let's check out the second button here. So when you press this button, let's see, is that the slashing action? Oh yeah. And it's got a sound effect for that too. That's pretty vicious. This thing is ginormous. And let's check out the tail too. We've got the tail here with the slashing action too. You wouldn't want to be in the way of that tail. That thing would hurt so much. Wow, all right. You'll want to stay out of the way of this one, that's for sure. All right, let's move on to the next dinosaur. All right, next up, let's do the Jurassic World Tyrannosaurus Rex. Let's check it out. All right, yeah, see, this is cool. You don't see this too often. It's a plastic dino throughout most of it, but the tail is a rubber, giving it much more lifelike feel. And it swivels up and down like that. You can already hear those stomp sound effects. Let's hear some more. Very cool. Let's check out this chomping action too. So when you lift them up like this, it locks into place, and then you move the tail upwards, and it comes chomping down. Wow, ah, that's cool. Very cool. And even his neck right here is kind of like rubber, too. You can see it kind of like swivels back and forth. Very cool. I'm super excited to add this to our collection. All right, let's move on to the next dinosaur. Okay, let's check out the Camp Cretaceous Tyrannosaurus Rex, Epic Roarin. All right, here we go. Wow, look at that. And look at that darker stripe along its back and then the lighter sides. It's got a lighter belly. It's like, a, I don't know if that's tan or yellow. But let's check out these uh, action moves. So you've got the button on the tail right there. You can, already hear, you can already hear the roaring right there. 
and then the swivel action. So the tail twists back and forth and a little bit up and down. And as you're doing that, it twists the head at the same time. That's really cool. Cause then it gives it a super realistic look. If you're like playing with the dinos, you don't have to have your hand up here. You can have it way back here and it looks super realistic. That's really cool. And let's try out the button too. Let's see how the roar looks. Whoa, that's cool. It's got like some shaking action too when you press the button. When it roars, there's like a battery inside that makes the head roar back and forth while it's roaring. Let's, let's try that out again. And even look inside the mouth, like with the teeth and this tongue right there. Look at that, it's like wiggling back and forth. So when it shakes, the tongue shakes too. That's pretty cool. That's an attention to detail that I really appreciate. I definitely am enjoying the swiveling head with the tail. That gives it such a cool look that your hands don't have to be close to the head to make it move. Very cool. Let's check out the next dinosaur. All right, and over here, we've got the Jurassic World Tyrannosaurus Rex. Wow, another Tyrannosaurus Rex. We're really on a roll today. All right, let's check it out here. So it's got kind of the same coloring as the other one. You can see the darker top and then the lighter sides and then the even lighter, like a yellow tan belly and underside. We've got these massive claws once again. So the tail is actually jointed in multiple spots. I bet that's for when you press the button, it really gives it a good swing. Let's try out the tail first. Wow, look at that swing. And it goes all the way to the side and all the way back. It's spring loaded. So you can just keep doing this all day. No batteries required. Very cool. And let's see that chomp action with its face too. You ready? Here we go. Ooh, okay. Twist to the side, it closes its mouth and rips it off. Wow, that's really cool. That's a gnarly attack when it's attacking another dinosaur and it's right there. It would grab it and twist it to the side in its attack. That's very vicious. And look at the teeth on this one too. That is a massive set of teeth. Got the yellow eyes. Very cool. I'm liking this one too. All right, let's move on to the next dinosaur. Next up is a smaller dinosaur here. This is the Monolophosaurus. It is a savage strike from the Camp Cretaceous series. It's pretty cool. All right, so here it is. This is interesting coloring, look at that. It's got a lighter gold coloring on the top and then the green sides and a green bottom. Its legs move, it's got those huge claws and its arms move too, they're pretty small. And then look at its face, it's got interesting coloring. It's like a mixture of the red and then the yellow that's also on its back as well. Let's check out that chomping action. Here we go with the tail. Very cool, I'm liking that. It's a smaller dinosaur, but I like that it still has an action that you can do with the toy. Very cool. All right, let's move on to the next dinosaur. All right, and our other new dinosaur here, we've got a Diplodocus. Check this out. It's an interesting, like, uh, semi-flexible rubber feeling. The neck is a little bit flexible too. And check out the coloring. You've got this like red brown, and then you've got these stripes of green all the way up the neck too. Check that out. And then got a little bit of yellow on the underbelly and on the legs as well. This is very cool. There are no moving parts in this one. There's no buttons or anything, but it is somewhat movable. It does have a pretty lifelike feel, I think. Let's check out that face. It's kind of a cute face, you know? Look at those eyes right there. This is pretty cool. This is a, I believe it's a pretty massive dinosaur in real life, the actual size. But this is a very cool model of a dinosaur to have. All right, let's go ahead and check out all these other dinosaurs.
Want to see more dino videos? Click the subscribe button now.